So I see a lot of questions regarding whether to choose a 64-bit version of Virtual DJ or the 32-bit version of Virtual DJ. Well, if you're on a Mac, you don't have a choice. There's only a 64-bit version because that's the way the Mac is at the moment. But if you're on Windows, it's relevant because you can get the 64-bit version here. That's the one without anything about bit in it and the 32-bit version here. So what are the differences between those? Well, the first you need to think about is what kind of windows you have. If you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, then only the 32-bit version will work. But if you have Windows 10, you can select either one of them and they'll both work. Another technical difference is that the 32-bit version uses DirectX 9, whereas the 64-bit version uses DirectX 11. So if you have problems getting those drivers running on your laptop for some reason, then that's another thing to take into consideration. Another thing to think about is the available plugins, like for instance, sound effects. Sound effects, as a rule, can't be shared between the 32-bit version and the 64-bit versions. So if you have them available in both, like for instance, the native effects, it's because they're actually there twice. But what about all the other plugins and effects you may have added or want to add? Well, let's look at it. If I go into the 32-bit version here, you can see I have a fair amount of effects available to me. Some of the native ones, some I may have added a long time ago, and they have just survived the updates along the way. For then going to the 64-bit version, you can see there's quite a lot fewer available to me. We see the same thing if we go into extensions. So we are currently in the 64-bit version. And if I look at the effects, audio effects, there's quite a few audio effects in here that you can install directly under extensions. But if I go into the 32-bit version over here and look at the extensions and effects, there's quite a few more. Again, because here you also have the third, all 32 bit effects available to you. And if you move on to something like visualizations, currently in the 32 bit version, looking at visualizations, you have something like Milk Drop, very popular one for visualization. And if I go into the 64 bit version here and go into visualizations, the milk drop one is not available because again, it only currently exists as a 32-bit plugin. Finally, regarding the plugins, they are the ones you may have installed yourself as VST effects. So if I look at my 32-bit version here, I have something like my Delasi delay effects, pretty fancy one here. That's a multi-band, multi-input output delay. And if I go into my 64-bit version over here, that's not available to me. You could also see when I went in here, it's still up there. The slot is empty because the one that was actually selected in the settings is not available for the 64-bit version. Then there are the performance. Well, as long as you're running audio, I don't think you'll notice any difference between the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. The post, of course, just works like always. So there's a 32-bit version running on Windows 10, and of course, there's no problem, and we wouldn't have expected that either. Both of them can also run video, but that's probably where you'll see the difference, because both the bit in itself and the neural drivers, which is DirectX 11, instead of DirectX 9, as it was in the 32-bit version, is more powerful. So for video, you should really think about getting the 64-bit version, not the 32-bit version. Then there are Windows in itself. So if you don't know, if you search for Windows 7, end of life, like this, it'll tell you that the specific end of support day for Windows 7 was January 14th, 2020. So you won't get updates for it anymore. So Windows 7 is kind of dead. Not supposed to use it anymore. 
Windows 8, Windows 8.1 is still supported, but I personally don't know a lot of people who will choose Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 over Windows 10. So we're living in a Windows 10 world now. And because of this, there's really no need for Atomix to keep supporting old Windowses when using Virtual DJ. So my guess is that in a not too distant future, it'll be Windows 10 only and it'll be 64-bit only. But for right now, you still have both versions available and both can run if you are on Windows 10 and Windows 10 only. If not, you don't really have a choice. But if you are on Windows 10, you can select between the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. And I think that if you are not having any direct X driver problems, and if you're not using any special old VST effects or old regular effects that you downloaded from the Virtual DJ homepage a long time ago, then the 64-bit version is probably the choice to make. So the 32-bit version is mainly if you're running with old plugins or if you're running with old versions of Windows. And then, as you have seen in this video, you can actually have both of them installed at the same time. And of course, you can run them at the same time, but they both be available at the desktop and they can share settings and the database file. So for right now, maybe install both of them if you're on Windows 10 and you're not sure which way you want to go just yet.